Releasing your new app on Google Play means you're likely to have gone through many checks, like testing for quality and making sure bugs are fixed. It's also important to make sure you check your app for potential policy issues. Here are 10 ways to stay on the right side of Google Play policy. Review our Policy Center. The Developer Policy Center found at play.google.com slash policy is your resource for everything related to Google Play Policy. We've organized the policies into themes represented by tiles. You can select a specific policy to learn more about it and see visual examples of common violations. Describe your app appropriately. Taking the time to describe your app can save you from receiving a metadata policy violation. Read through your short and full descriptions and remove any excessive keyword lists, irrelevant information, or user testimonials. Your app description should be appropriate for all ages. Remember that every translation of your app description needs to be compliant with the metadata policy. Use images you have the rights to. If you want to stay on the right side of intellectual property policy, it's best to create your own images and videos to promote your app. Your app icon, feature graphic, and any other assets you upload to your store listing should only include images you have the right to use. If you've been granted permission to use assets owned by others, you can notify the app review team using this form. And just like your app description, the images and videos in your store listing should be appropriate for all ages. Rate your app accurately. Once you've completed the content rating questionnaire, you're almost ready to submit your app. It's important to provide accurate responses in order to receive an accurate rating, as apps that aren't rated correctly or aren't rated at all can be removed from the Play Store. Handle user data with care. Is your app collecting user data? User data can include information provided by users, about users, or about their interactions with the app or device. If you're collecting user data, you need to include a privacy policy in your store listing and in your app. The privacy policy should let users know what data you're collecting and why you're collecting it. Read over the Personal and Sensitive Information section under our User Data Policy to see what types of data to pay special attention to. Make sure the ads in your app are policy compliant. When you submit your app for review, the Google Play team also reviews the content and behavior of the ads within your app. Make sure the ad content doesn't include adult images, violence, or anything else that would violate our content policy. Ad behavior should be straightforward. We don't allow ads that are disruptive or deceptive, including ads that pose as system notifications, ads that aren't dismissible, or ads that appear after a user closes the app. A policy issue with your ads can lead to an app rejection or suspension. Check with your ad provider to learn about filtering options. Don't forget the restricted content policy. Review your app and your store listing page for any restricted content, such as adult content, violence, or drugs. If you're concerned about any of your content, read through the restricted content policy for more details and examples. Any apps that contain or feature user-generated content must take additional precautions in order to provide a policy-compliant app experience. If this describes your app, check out the user-generated content policy to learn more. Update your email preferences. You're almost ready to submit. Just one final thing. Take a second to update your email address on the account details page in your developer console. If a policy issue does come up, we can contact you with the necessary steps to address it. Congratulations. Now it's time to push that shiny blue publish button. Fix any policy issues found in review. Even though you've checked your app against our policies, it's always possible that your app gets rejected or suspended after review. If your app or app update gets rejected, keep in mind that many violations can be fixed. Just follow the steps in the notification from Google Play email you received to address the issue and submit your app again. Reach out to us for support. If you disagree with a policy violation, or if you'd like help resolving your policy issue, you can contact our policy support team. Simply use the contact details in the notification email, or click on the question mark at the bottom of each page in the Policy Center. For the quickest response, make sure to include your package name. For more information on Google Play Policy, head over
over to the Developer Policy Center. If you want more tips on how to launch your app or game business, check out the other videos in this series and download the Playbook for Developers app on Google Play.